Quite often we need to add images onto an existing web page that has lots of text, such as this one here. Adding images inside a Dreamweaver to a web page is relatively easy. They've actually provided multiple ways of doing this. What I'm going to first do is place my mouse cursor where I want my image to be, in this case in the upper left hand side of my screen. Now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my insert bar. I've moved my insert bar here across the top of my screen. By default, it's in the top right hand corner. If you want to move it over to the top as well, you can grab the little dots that they refer to as a gripper, click and drag that to the top of your screen, and it will dock to the top of your window as such. Now to add an image, the first thing I do is going to make sure I'm on my common tab, and then I'm going to scroll over with my mouse until I find images colon image. It's going to look like a tree against a backdrop. And click on that. It's going to bring up a select image source window. I'm going to go to my images folder, find the image that I would choose, and say OK. I'm going to provide some alternate text. This alternate text is an attribute for your image tag, which is going to display if the image cannot be displayed for some reason. I'm going to click on OK, and here's my image. Now I really had hoped that my text was going to wrap around my image. So if I click on my image, the easiest way to do that is going to scroll down here, it says align. Notice it's by default. The default option says put my text immediately after my image. And notice it doesn't put it so it surrounds it where it's along the corner. It puts it so the bottom of the text is in line with the bottom of my image. So a lot of times people come over here online and they may say, hey, put it at the top. But if you scroll, you can notice. But if you scroll up, you notice that it's just the top of my text is now in line with the top of my image, and I have a big gap. So what you actually want to do if you want the image on the left hand side is to click on the align and choose left. By choosing my left, it says move my image to the left hand side. And you notice it even wraps around multiple paragraphs this way. This is the easiest way to move my text around my different paragraphs. Now the next thing I might want to do is say, but is there an easier way? Well, there's other ways. What's easy and what's not is highly dependent upon how you choose. So I'm going to take another image. I'm going to show you how to insert that. The way I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag it to the paragraph that I want it to be in, which is the second paragraph. Once again, providing alternate text. and say OK, notice I have a small icon here. Now, you will notice over here that it still pushes the information down, which I may not like. So what I can do is I can come over here to my align, and if I want it on my right hand side of this paragraph, I'll choose to align to the right. Now normally it's going to show up a little bit better. If I go to live view, you'll notice that it's showing correctly. This is one particular case where Dreamweaver has not shown it correctly in its design view. But if you go in live view or if you look at it in a regular web browser, it would. Go off live view so we can edit it. Now there's one particular thing that you may not like, and that is the image is too small. It's hard to see. So I might choose the image and say, well, can I make this larger? The answer is yes. You have a couple different ways. I can click on one of these sizing handles and try to grab it and resize it. Or I can come over here to my property panel and specify new height and width. Now a problem with that if you look at this image now is it's become very pixelated. And that's obviously a problem. It would have been much better if I had a larger image to source from and resize it to the appropriate size. So it would look much better and it'll also be faster for my browser to display than having to try to recalculate it. The same thing goes if I have a large image over here and I want to make it smaller. I can click on my resizing handles, which is those little black boxes, and hold down my shift key and drag, and that makes it smaller. However, if you notice, I sometimes get a little bit of wavy lines in my image. This is because it's not scaling smoothly, 
and this is not resizing my image, so I have to download a big image to display a small one, which doesn't seem to make much sense. If I click on my image, and I'm ever not the actual size of the image, you'll notice that my width and height will display in bold, and I'll have a little icon over here allowing me to reset my size. I'll click on Reset Size, and if I'm smart about it, I'll go into an application like Photoshop, Fireworks, or some other related application, resize my image there, and get the correct size image. That's the much faster and easier way to do it and allow for you to display your web pages faster because you don't have so much information to download or have your image be all pixelated because it wasn't big enough to begin with.